Okay, hey there everybody. We're back for part two of the King's Quest 1 playthrough on the real Macintosh LC. Where we left off last time, we've just given a bowl of food to the two hungry people who I guess were the woodcutters. And for some reason, they can't cut wood anymore and they're very poor and this is going to be their last meal. Which is pretty sad and... I guess it's really not though, because they can just type or say fill in that bowl and it gives them more food. So, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but they're happy and they gave me a fiddle. So, I'm still none the wiser as to where I'm going. I just, you know, wandering around, trying to find stuff, giving people stuff when I can, trying not to get eaten by an ogre. Or cast on by a sorcerer or pushed by a witch or anything like that. There's a few dangers in this cap, this, uh, I guess, realm of Daventry, I guess you'd call it. Um, what else have we found? A lot of gold. We've got the gold egg. We've got the golden walnut. We've got diamonds. We're like super rich now because, you know, if you look at a stump in this place, there's generally diamonds. So, you know, money for all. Um, but nonetheless, we actually need to find the treasures so that we can help out King Edward and, I believe, take over the throne once we've done that. So, without any further talking, well, there will be plenty of further talking because we're talking through this. Uh, let's get on with our little quest here. So, I don't think I tried to take this axe when I walked past. Um, the old axe is tightly wedged in the tree stump. You cannot remove it no matter what you do. Okay, so I'm guessing that is just stuck there. Alright. So, let's go for a bit more of a wander. And we'll see what we can do. Um, there's the lake. I reckon... Okay, we're not going to do that. Let's head north from here. I feel like we've been here before. Pretty sure we have. Um, I have a feeling there's the log where we found the diamonds. Or the stump, I should say. The log was pretty useless. And what's north of here? Okay, there's the goat pen. So we've kind of explored this bit. Um, let's go south for a change. We might even go west one. Because I don't think we've kind of explored down from this one over. So I think the next part of the mission is going to be... Yeah... We haven't... Oh, actually, we did see this, but we never went south from here. Oh. Okay, so if you see me doing that and the box comes up, I'm still hitting the home end, page up and page down to kind of walk diagonally. It is a habit of a lifetime I've had playing these AGI games. And the Macintosh doesn't like it. Oh, okay, there's a bridge here. So, from part one, um, you may or may not remember... I found a mushroom kind of on the other side of a river. And I tried to swim across the river and I died... So it looks like I found a bridge, which is kind of cool. So let's traverse said bridge. See what we've got happening over here. All right, so then we have another bridge. So I think this is the one that's going to lead us. Ah. As you approach the bridge, a mean, ugly troll appears and refuses to let you cross his bridge. Okay, he looks... It's got like the full-on boxing thing here. Um, let's just save it. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And chances are... Can I like... Just walk past him? No. Well, at least he doesn't sort of beat me up. He just sort of stands there. Um, talk to troll. Troll demands a treasure for passage across his bridge. Um, I'm thinking, let's not do that, because if we lose a treasure, we may not be able to finish the game, or if we do finish the game, it's not the optimal way. This feels very much like a very early Scott Adams adventure question, where you can give up the treasure and you can keep going, only to realise very late in the game you solved the puzzle the wrong way, and then you have to start again. Now, oh, it's a troll. So goats do not like trolls. 
from fairy tales. Maybe let's go get the goat. There we go again. I pressed the page up key. Alright, so the goat. Where was that? That was not far from here. I think it was just north. So if we can get the goat, maybe the goat will kind of like hit the troll, push him into the river. Then maybe we can go get that mushroom. Man, if we weren't playing King's Quest, I'd sound like a crazy person saying a sentence like that. But that's the fun of these. They're kind of a mixture of fairy tales, a bit of adventure gaming, a bit of puzzle solving, a bit of everything. Okay, so there's our friendly goat. Now, I guess we just... Oh, actually, I might save the game here. I have this feeling that you have to do this very carefully so the goat just doesn't run away. Um, we've got the carrot to lead it, I'm pretty sure. So let's open the gate. Hopefully the goat just doesn't go running out. I've got a feeling if you walked off this screen it would just escape and that would be it. Um, maybe lead goat with carrot. Um, show carrot to goat. Too far away. Okay. What? I feel like if I give the carrot to the goat, um, he'll just eat it. Okay. So when you tempt the old goat with the carrot, he starts to follow you. So yeah, if I typed give carrot to goat, I'm pretty sure he would have just ate it. Oh man, I made a friend for life here. And if he just ate it, he would have just ignored me after that. Um, so let's traverse back down. So we need to go south one, then we need to go east one. And then we keep going south. Pretty cool looking goat. Kind of looks like a reindeer from this angle, but close enough. Hopefully you can follow me over this bridge. It doesn't get stuck. Sweet. Alright. What does everyone think? Is the goat going to get rid of the troll? Guess we're about to find out. As you approach the bridge, the mean ugly troll appears and refuses to let you cross. It is a well-known fact that goats hate trolls. Ha 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 ha. Goats hate trolls intensely. You should move aside and let the goat take care of the nasty troll. Alright, let's do that. Troll's still there with his punching. The goat bots the troll right off the bridge, never to be seen in these parts again. Oh, it's a bit sad that they don't have uh, the full-on animations here of the troll like floating away. But again, this is a very early AGI game, so... I don't know if it was the first, but it was certainly right near the beginning. So they didn't have as many animations as they in the later ones. Alright, this warrants a save game, 100%. We're going to save this, number 15. Alright, now we're off to in uncharted areas. Okay, you see a crotchety old gnome pacing about his lean-to. Um, Alright, let's just ignore... Uh, Ignore the gnome, because he might do something weird. Alright, so we've got another bridge here. I feel like the troll, if we'd come from that area, would have also patrolled this bridge, but now that we've gotten rid of him, we should be able to come and go as we please. Where's that mushroom? Oop. Ugh. Okay, this is a bit deadly. What are these? Look, bushes. Bushed. Look, bush. Nothing special. Kind of look like there were berries on there, but I guess not. So let's go... Maybe it's from over here. There's the gnome. Maybe it's north from here. Another bridge. 
That's weird. Where was that mushroom at then? I s it was definitely had the sort of the river to the left. Maybe it's kind of on this other peninsula? I don't know. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I would have been sure that it was from the troll. Well, like the puzzle of solving the troll would have found the mushroom, but maybe not. Maybe let's just go down here for a bit. And let's see what we can do. Okay, there's the clovers. Oh, okay. Well, maybe let's forget the mushroom for a moment. We can come back to that if we need to. Let's see what the gnome's all about. I think that he doesn't look very friendly. This might just end up in death. Uh, let's see. Talk to Noom. The old gnome tells you he has something that may be very useful to you. Your task is to guess his name in three guesses and his gift will be yours. Good luck. What is your first guess? Oh, man. I hated these puzzles when I was younger, and I still hate them now. So, um, this is going to be a fairy tale type thing. So, what's a famous gnome from a fairy tale? Um, let's think here. Was it like, um... Alright, I'm going to Google this. Stand by one, viewers. I'm going to Google what a famous gnome was called. Okay, and we're back. So, after a quick Google search, which is something you couldn't do back in 1991, but hey, I haven't got, you know, two hours to solve this, and you guys watching me as I just stumble around for two hours just talking boring nonsense. So, after Googling, um, the one I came up with is Rumpelstiltskin. Now, let's just see, but I think this is too easy. Um, I need to work out how to spell this too. Rum, pell, steel, skin. I think that's right. No, that's Rupal, Rumple. So, Rumple, steel, skin. That is very close, but not quite right. Now, what was that thing in the witch's house? It was something to do with... It's wise to think backwards. Okay. Let's try Rumpelstiltskin backwards. So that will be... Okay, I've written it down in front of me, so I'm just going to do this slowly. N-I-K-S-T-L-I-T-S-L-E-P... M U R. So rum pell still skin. Alright, let's try that. You know that's not right. Oh come on. The worst thing is this gives us three guesses and that's it. Once we've had the third guess, we're done. Um uh, this is one of those things that people would have called the Sierra Helpline over, because this is crazy. What's your next guess? Um, Why is to think backwards? Why is to think in reverse? All right, stand by again, viewers. I'm going to have a think about this, and I'm going to return. Okay, viewers, and we're back. That was probably a 15-minute... Thing of me thinking and looking at Google and thinking some more and coming up with nothing. I broke down and I looked at the walkthrough as to what I need to do. Now, this is some crazy stuff. I will take my hat off to anyone who got this back in the day without getting a hint from a friend, the Sierra helpline, a hint book or something. So, 
the correct way of doing it in this version of King's Quest, the original, is to write out the alphabet backwards and then you transpose that onto the forwards alphabet. So A becomes Z, B becomes Y, C becomes X, and Z becomes A right at the end. So basically you reverse the order of the letters. You then spell out Rumpelstiltskin. If you do that, you get the following. I, F, N, K, O, V, H, G, R, O, G, H, P, R, M. That's right, you guessed it. Here are some magic beans for your outstanding accomplishment. Seriously, like, come on, people. Uh, you know, I'm sure maybe someone somewhere in the world spent 20 hours on this puzzle and maybe got it at some point. But that is some crazy stuff. Um, the one thing I did notice in the walkthrough is that if you get it wrong three times, you get a key and an alternate way of solving the puzzles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the game and we're going to call this Matthew Beans. And then we're going to go back and we're going to restore the game before that, which was Matthew 15. And this time, we're just going to guess it wrong three times. And the reason for that is I'm kind of interested to see the difference between the key and the beans. Because um, it's always fun just to see the different ways that you can solve the puzzles. So, let's talk to this gnome again. Uh, your name is... who cares? Where did you get that idea? It's not even close. Old man. That's not right. Go away. You didn't guess the gnome's name, but he left you a gold key anyway. Better luck next time. Alright, take key. It's heavy and cold. So we're going to save the game here. And we're going to call this one Matthew Key. So, the way I'm going to play this out, I'm going to play it out with the beans to begin with. So, let's do a restore to Matthew Beans. And then, depending on how we go for time in these playthrough videos, I like to keep these to three parts, no more. Um, I'll either include the alternate at the end, or we'll do it as a bonus video for a midweeker. Cool, so we got the keys. Keys, no, we got the beans. Now, let's go, we haven't really been south of here, because that's new. We couldn't find the mushroom, so we'll just ignore that. So let's head south. And then I think from here, I'm trying to think which direction haven't we been... Uh, let's go south one more, and I think east. So let's just go east from here. I don't think we've done east from the clovers. Alright, so we're getting a good inventory of stuff here. We've now got some magic beans. Um, no doubt we need to plant them. Alright, it's a nice little lake here. I think if you plant the beans, then we're going to get some Jack and the Beanstalk action. Um... So I'm assuming there'll be a giant with the old fee fi fo fum type stuff going on. It's kind of cool. Got to work out where to plant them, though. Um, oh, there's a cave here. Okay. Cave. Let's save the game here, because caves are a bit ominous. Uh, I can't remember what number I'm actually up to. Something. 15. Let's go Matthew Beans 16. So yeah, caves are always a bit ominous. Um, let's just kind of hang out here. Look, cave. You vaguely see the outline of a cave entrance. Why is this so open in the middle here though? Maybe they just drew it out. It's just weird the cave's so small. It's like something's going to come running out and, like, grab us or something like that. 
Let's just get a bit closer to the cave because look cave. You vaguely see the outline of a cave entrance. All right. Let's just venture in cautiously. So there's a rock or a boulder or something on the east side. So yeah, it's empty except for a huge boulder opposite the opening. Okay. I think I have a vague recollection. So yeah, we can't go south. The dragon's cave exits to something like this. Um, pretty sure the dragon has the magic mirror. That's another fairy tale -y type thing. So I think that's for later on. Um, I have this funny feeling there's something more to this though because I remember this screen and I remember I can't remember exactly what happens but something happens here either in this clearing or in this cave but I don't know if it's meant to happen now or it's meant to happen later there is somewhere in this King's Quest or it might have been King's Quest 2 I think it was this one where basically a bird flies over your head and you have to like grab onto the bird's talons and the talons like pick you up or something and this screen just rings a bell it really does although nothing whoops wrong button um Look, Sky. I could be getting this totally wrong. I'm trying not to look too much at the walkthrough. I, I did for the Rumpelstiltskin thing. But... Yeah, I'm going from some old memories here. Because the bird, if it picks you up, where's it going to take you? Maybe it takes you to the top of the beanstalk? Although, you're supposed to climb the beanstalk, I would have thought. Hmm... Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, um, what would the mushroom do? Let's think about this. Maybe let's just go wandering and we'll see if we can find something else. But before I do that, I might just... Oh, there's the goat. Okay, nice. Um, let's just... From what I remember the bird thing, you have to hang out for a minute... So maybe if I just hang out here. Let's just pause here. I'm going to time lapse this because it's probably going to be boring. But I really have this strong feeling a bird comes down and grabs you from here. So I'm going to hang out for a minute just like in the witch's thing. And we'll tune back in if something cool happens. Okay everyone and we're back. I've waited here for ages. There is no bird flying over. I may have gotten it wrong. Um... For now, let's just progress along and see if we can find something else to do. Keeping in the back of our mind that maybe there's a bird somewhere. Maybe I've got the wrong screen. But I definitely remember a bird picking us up and I'm pretty sure it's this King's Quest. So let's just do some aimless wandering. The one thing... Oh, okay. That's definitely aimlessly wandered in the right direction. The one thing I do remember is we plant the beanstalk or the beans somewhere with this fertile soil. So... If we have a look at these flowers, what a pretty bed of wildflowers. It must be pretty fertile soil here, so let's try planting the beans. Plant beans. The beans immediately sprout roots that reach deep into the fertile soil, leaves unfolding themselves to the warm loving sun. A rumbling is felt and a mighty beanstalk now stretches up to the sky. Wow, that was quick. Alright, so we're going to save the game. And this is going to be Matthew Beans 17. Alright. Hopefully we don't need the bird to do something for the beanstalk bit. I don't think we do. Um, I guess climb beanstalk? Oh no, this is going to be one of those manual ones. Um, yeah. Ouch. 
So this is going to be painful. I don't know um, the exact technique here, but I remember in some of the earlier games, you had to keep your hands on the beanstalk at all times and your feet, it didn't really matter. Okay. That doesn't hold. Um, maybe it's hands and feet. Uh, I don't really need to save it here, I guess. It's more just annoying. So let's just try and go up and across and up and across. Okay, that did not work. Uh, this is going to be fun. I often wonder why they wanted to punish us like this. I think we just got to go up as far as we can. We've basically got to keep like one hand and one foot. No, okay. <sighs> well, it looks like we've got infinite tries if we only fall down that far. I reckon we're going to use some diagonal action here. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Never have I had one this bad. How's he falling off there? Come on. So what do you want me to go straight up or something? Alright, we go diagonally. We go up a bit. We go diagonally again. We just keep going up. Hey, that's as high as I've got yet. I'm saving it. <sighs> Matthew, stupid beanstalk 18. Probably going to fall off a million times. Alright, we've made it to another screen. We are saving this again. Uh, yeah, let's just go over that. Should be pretty safe. I guarantee if we fall from this height, though, we are done. I think the key is to kind of diagonal it a little bit. With a wrong move, you fall dizzyingly to the ground. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, flat as a pancake. So, that was an impressive, like, spiral down, though. End over end. It's kind of cool to watch. Um, Alright, so I guess I went diagonal too far. So, yeah, diagonal a bit, up a bit. Diagonal a bit, up. Diagonal the other way, up. Diagonal... I don't want to go diagonal yet, though, because my feet are not in the right spot, but maybe they are. Oh, damn it. Here we go again. Man, he really squashes out like a pancake when he hits the ground. Back to Matthew Beans, 18. Alright, so this bit's pretty straightforward. It's just diagonal there. The problem is transitioning this bit. Nope. Oh, come on. Do I need to go higher? Okay, that worked. Now, can I come across? Oh, I am saying this again. Uh, let's go AA Matthew Beans. I won't have to keep scrolling down when I restore it. Okay, do we go straight up from here or do I go sideways? I'm going to go diagonal. No. <sighs> Incorrect. Critical mission failure. Alright, let's go straight. No, that's not right. We're going to go further up. 
further up. Now go diagonal. No. Just keep going up then. Oh, okay. So it's kind of 3D. So he's behind this. So now I've got to go diagonally a bit. And I'm kind of weaving it. Okay. Um, yep. Oh man, this is like nerve wracking. Not from the sense that I feel like I'm going to die, just from the sense that I got to keep restoring it. Surely I can go straight up from here. Oh yeah, no way I'm going to go any further. Yes, I want to replace it. Whoops. Oh, come on. How many cartwheels do you reckon he does as he falls? That's a lot. Okay. Oh, come on. How tall is this stupid thing? It's rare I complain about this sort of stuff in a game, but man, this is frustrating. Okay, I'm sure we'd have to go diagonal there a bit. Okay, so now I'm on that part. I'm kind of getting the hang of this, but this is rough. So now I've got to keep my feet on that bit of beanstalk. Now the beanstalk's like growing through me. You have to be careful when you get so high on the foliage. Oh. Okay. As much as it's fun to watch him fall all those stories down. I think we'll just restore it and get on with it. So for this part, I guess I've got to stick to the beanstalk a bit more. In this case, that way. What? I didn't do anything. Okay. Let's save it here. At least I'm getting the hang of the earlier bits. Um, hopefully no one's bored to death of me climbing a beanstalk for the last 10 minutes. So I was kind of going left, maybe. Sorry, I was going right. Maybe let's go left a bit. There we go. Alright, we are close. Now being a fairy tale based game, I dare say we can walk on said clouds. Heck yeah, we can. Alright. Let's very much save this as Beans 20. And I'm just going to walk dead east so we don't fall off the edge of the clouds. And it looks like we have a land in the sky. So this is very much looking like that full on fairy tale, what is it called? Giant in the sky, does stuff, I don't know. Can't say I watched that many fairy tales when I was younger. Oh hey, there's like trees and stuff here. All right, let's look at trees. Very unusual looking trees. Can we climb them? Nope, that would just waste time. Can we go south from here? Or are we going to fall off the edge of the cloud? No, we can go south. This tree looks like it's got fruit and it's dropped one. Look, tree. This is very strange vegetation. Can I climb this tree? Can't even get past that bit of grass. Nope, that would just waste my time. Okay. Let's see, is that fruit? Don't understand fruit. Look, ground. Take, nut. 
Cannot get the nut. Okay. Well, looks like that's just for decoration. Because the nut would... Oh, stupid page up. The nut would refer to the walnut from earlier on. Alright, let's do some more wandering. There's nothing to do there. Whoa, there's a giant. Okay. Was he carrying something? I love that this pauses when you can type. The enormous giant has been carrying that heavy chest for longer than he can remember. Okay, wonder what's in the chest, but let's just kind of wander this way. I think that's one of the treasures. So we can just bypass the giant for now. That will be good. Because I have no idea how to deal with him. I suppose I could throw the dagger at him, but I don't think that would do much. Uh, that tree looks like it's got a hollow in it. Strange looking trees. Let's get closer into this particular tree. Trunk has a large hole in the base. Look hole. You notice a sling in the hole of the tree. Oh, David and Goliath. You beauty. Take sling. You reach the hole and pull out the leather sling. Let's just look in the hole again and make sure it's empty. Okay. This is all starting to work for me now. So. We've got a sling. We got some pebbles from that riverbed thing. We can slingshot into this dude. Alright, so. Is this going to work? Um, I have no idea. Are we going to give it a red hot crack? Heck yes, we will. Oh, there's a cave here too. Uh, let's slingshot the dude first. Okay. Um, let's save it again here. Chances are I'm going to get this horribly wrong the first time, so the less we have to walk, the better. Sling. Use sling with rock. Use sling with pebble. Sling pebble at giant. I don't understand pebble. Uh, sling rock at giant. Oh man. What's the syntax? Use sling shot. You put the pebble in the sling, take careful aim, and luckily hit the giant in the forehead. He falls down dead. Wow. Okay. David and Goliath wins again. Alright. Look, chest. The magic chest appears to be in fashion from ebony and rimmed on the edges with gold. Take chest. It's easy to take the magic chest from a dead giant. Okay. Look, chest. So this, you admire the workmanship of the beautiful chest. This is the magic chest that is our First treasure of three. Or maybe second. I don't know. It's one of the three treasures. So we've got the magic chest, the magic mirror, and something else. I can't remember what the other one was, but hey, we'll find it. Um, let's save the game again. Because I hope this cave is a way of getting out of here without going down that stupid beanstalk. But knowing this game, I'm going to say... It probably isn't. Ah, oh, there's a staircase. That's kind of cool. Whoops. Ah, uh, Macintosh, why don't you let me use the page up, page down, home and end keys? Let's kind of wander down. Oops. Um, okay, I'm just trying to think before we go all the way down here. Did we fully ex check up the top for all the stuff? I think we did. Yes, we did. Because I've got a feeling this will be a bit of a one-way valve down here. 
But no, we looked at all the screens. He couldn't go north from where the giant was. So that's out. Yeah, no, we could. Oops. At least he can't fall off these stairs. That's handy. Actually, I wonder... We didn't open the chest. Ah, there we go. You are dazzled by the countless supply of gold coins spilling from the magic chest. You quickly close it. Sweet. So it's full of coins. Yeah, look open. Two different things in Sierra's parlance. It's kind of wanderage down here. At least this isn't like a King's Quest 4 staircase. That one I remember with Rosella. You could fall off it so easily and just die. Whereas this one, it actually is captive. Which is kind of cool. Oh, okay. We're out of that door. Oh, alright. So, we got the beans from that gnome dude that, who had a name of a or whatever it was um when we guessed incorrectly we got a key i reckon that key would have opened this little door and we could have walked up the stairs all the way to the giant and then done the same thing but i'm guessing by planting the beanstalk we got a lot more score out of it um but it also would have avoided that awful climb but hey whatever uh, at least now we don't really need to revisit what happens if you get the key although i might just do it just to confirm so, we've got a treasure. We've done all this stuff. Um, have we looked to the east of here? I don't think we have. Let's just have a quick look to the east. Time is moving on, so we're probably due for a break. Looks like we're on the side of a nice little river here. Nothing much doing, okay. Um, I think so. I reckon... Let's... Oh, I'll see the time here. Yeah, let's call it. Thank you again for watching. Hope you're very enjoying this series played on the Mac LC. It is something different. The sound is a lot nicer than the PC, if nothing else. Plus, you get a slightly different look and feel. If you've enjoyed it, if you've got something to think, comment you know, opinion, whatever, please comment down below. I do try and read all of them. If you've enjoyed it thus far, please also give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out and promote the videos a little bit more to a wider audience. I am looking forward to part three. Hopefully I can remember what to do from here. I know we've got to find a bird. I know we've got to deal somehow with that mushroom because I know that we need to use it for something. I don't know if we like eat it or smoke it or whatever, but we do need the mushroom. So we've got to figure out how to get to that. Alright then, I'm going to sign off. Catch you in the next one.